getting close. You can see up ahead there is part of the mine or mill or something. So we'll be there in a minute. So we again have ditched the Jeep and we're on foot. Heading up ahead there. Check out the mine. Looks exciting. Here we are at the mill. This was in operation when? From 1916 until 1930s. And I believe it worked on and off after that also. This was a shielite mine. Shielite is the one of the main ores that tungsten is made from. And water is always a problem in this area. You can see three big water tanks up there. Well, one big one, two, three little ones. And at one time, they got water from this uh, drainage down below me here. They had a pipe coming up. And at another time, later on, they had a nine-mile pipeline that ran from Pilot Peak. There was a spring up there. I forget the name of the spring. But they ran a pipeline from the spring to this mill. There are some cabins over here too. I'm assuming it was a mining camp as well as the mill. And at this was a 75 ton mill which means they can crush 75 tons of ore per day and then later on I think this mill was decommissioned two or three different times and at one point there was a 30 ton mill I think it was which might be that smaller structure on the right you can see some other rock uh, walls ahead of me versus the concrete walls over here of the big mill so there were actually two mills here over the years it's a little confusing to figure out looking at the ruins of it, but that's what I understand the basics of this mill. This was in production during the Korean War for a bit too. So in the 1950s this right. was brought back into production when the need for tungsten for the military was greater. So let's go a little further up, let's look at these cabins real quick and we'll head on up to the mine hopefully. Here's one of the cabins. There's a lizard. Hi little buddy. Sorry to come into your cabin. It's in pretty good shape still. Looks like it's about 12 by 16. One rock has come through the wall there, it looks like, from down the hill, but, or up the hill, but not bad. It's in good shape. Look at that, it's still pretty straight. Whoever built them did a pretty good job. Let's go over here and look at the other ones. So here's another cabin. Looks like it's in halfway decent shape. We paste it off and it's a 36 by 16 cabin. Look at the floor. Looks like roofing material. It's got a nice view. Nice and roomy. And look at this old boot down here. That. Look at the soles. Let's get it in the light. <laughs> That's hiked a few miles. Here's the third cabin. It's about a 16 by 24 roughly. Raptors are all still in good shape. Roof is all still there. The roofing is gone. The uh, built right is off the walls. That's what they use for the inside. That stuff never lasts very long once it gets wet. There's the door. It had windows. Three windows. The collapsed cabin. Couldn't take it any longer. No mas. There's a lizard on top of the... Oh yeah. There's a liver, lizard on the peak there. He's guarding the place.
He's the boss. There's a little rock house across the wash there. A neat little wall. Doesn't appear to be a living quarter. There's no ventilation coming out of it or anything. So maybe it was explosives locker or bunker. We're coming up here to a huge waste pile. There are supposedly 25,000 feet of underground workings here. And this this looks like more than just the orb and maybe this is another mill. And it looks like I see a power pole across the way there. That could be an old tree though too, I'm not sure. But I did want to say that at one time, I'm sure they had generators to start with, but later on at one time there was a power line run from Mina up to here. Well, we're up here below this structure and by some big piles here. It looks like there's a lot of quartz in this waste pile here. Look at the size of that pile, man. So it goes from gray to a lighter quartz mixed rock and onward to this tan material. There's a big lever of some sort. And probably a shoot gate of some sort. This looks like it's just an elaborate double ore bin that would have come out of the chute. Probably a couple chutes, one for the waste and then one to fill up a truck right here for uh, the valuable ore. And I believe the mill or the concentrator was the one we first saw down below. They do that so they can reduce the shipping costs, concentrate the valuable ore and don't haul as much waste out. There's one of the power lines. I'm not sure which which year they ran power up here from Mina. It wasn't right off the bat. Probably in the 30s. Still working our way up canyon trying to get to the head of this waste pile. That's looking back at part of it. You can't see the bulk of it. This is just the darker stuff. Come to the Here's a very interesting looking uh, header over this portal. It looks like a fairly wide seam was right here. Like four feet wide. I like tungsten mines, they always seem to be solid. At least the ones we've been in. Looks like one of the miners is doing a self-portrait there. I'm plugging away. Nice and cool in here. The uh, added is in great shape. Just a very small alcove. Here's a junction. Main line goes straight ahead. This is a left here. It's blocked off. So this is an actual movable switch. That would that would send you straight, and that would send you left. Very simple yet effective. Track ends. That's two things we can take a look at on the way back. One left and one right.
There's a pretty big chute, heavily timbered. Also a little workbench over here. I'm not sure if there are upper levels here. That's some heavy duty timbering, about a four foot wide chute. And there's some more miners graffiti. A couple of faces it looks like. Something from 37 maybe. There's an old shovel that died. Oh yeah, there's something up there. Must be upper level or stopes or something. There's kind of a big split. Looks like a major intersection. Let's go that way. To the right? Look at that tank or whatever it is up there. Check it out. Well, that's just part of a barrel then. Mm -hmm. An old riveted Riveted though. Ah, uh, there's a room back there. Let's see. Let's go up here. See if we can get into that room from that way. Still a nice breeze coming through here, so I'm sure the air is pretty good. I'm gonna see if this goes back around into this room. There's another big chute here. Oh, another big one there. And Let's follow this around. There was some kind of room back here. I'm not sure what it was. Another huge chute. Here's this room. Oh, there's a ladder. Huge chute here. And a ladder going up too. Oh boy. Think of the fun. Here's some bottles of booze. Look at all the stuff over here. No Copenhagen can. few batteries and other stuff. Campbell's soup. Oh, a little hot plate, look at that. For heating up their soup. And there's a gallon jug. No smoking. Well, let's look down the ladder. See how it looks. It goes down to the abyss. Down here. You should see it. Go down here? Yeah. Well, this is a skip track. Oh, yeah, let's go down the way. Hmm. And it goes up. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're almost at the top of it. All right, so Tom's gonna check this out up here. It's just a short ladder. Just a short ladder. <clears throat> Ooh, if I don't fall over. I don't even know why it's here. I thought it would go up to the hoist maybe, but it doesn't. Okay. Come back down. Okay. Okay, we came from that way. Let's go this way. Another big shoot.
Small crosscut over there. Out. Oh, there's a big stump. We were just right over there at that room. It was right over that way. And it's about a 40 foot tall stope. And there's a short cross cut. Another couple shoots. Just to collect stuff that's dropped out of the stope. We would collect it in this bin type structure. Come out the chute and load up the ore car right here. Big stope up here. Couple more chutes. Pretty neat stuff. Heavy duty. Full thickness timbers, full inch and a half. No collapse here. Here's another ladder going down. I see two sets of ladders and then a platform. Maybe down a little lower, another platform. Let's see what happens on this level. Here we go down. Here's another room of sorts. There's a several timbers in the middle here holding up the, the back in a double shaft not terribly deep maybe oh. <laughs> maybe um the bat maybe 30 feet let's go over here there's a coffee can <laughs> sugar peas and string beans <laughs> Another label from spinach, Del Monte spinach. Miners had to eat. They can't run down to the local fast food joint. So this was another skip track. Now yeah, there's another bat. I like to leave the bats alone. I like to bother them. One slapped me right in the face yesterday. I was looking down and he was hanging on the ceiling apparently or the back of the mine and took off right when I went by and slapped me. Like that, like that one. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> It's all jammed up. Big mine. Yeah. Huge. Lots of bats. Yeah, two bats. It's okay. Bats gotta have a place to live. Oh, it ends the end of That's the end. Oh, that's where yeah. the bats are. So that's the end of this. That's the end of this kind of the main haulage level lo looks like. Here looks like some samples were taken. See anything? Cafe something. And can you pick up one of these guys? Look at it. Tungsten blue. So these must be, can you take your light off it. These must be um just sample drillings, right? Yeah. They're pretty small, though, from what I'm used to seeing. Look, this is 107. 
Oh, cool. And this little block. Huh. This oh, there's a bunch of little blocks. Yeah, a whole bunch. Oh, look at that. 162 and a half. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we're back to this spot. Uh, so the air was a little deader back there until we just crossed that bridge. Now there's a lot of airflow again. So apparently it's either going up or down that or drop. Who oh, mine? At least dodging bats. Okay, Tom's gonna head down the ladder here. Maybe it's just Maybe. sitting here. Yeah, it is just sitting there, so. It should be a little steeper. I'll make it a little a less steep, I should say. I'll make it a little less steep for you. Okay. Well that's gonna make it tighter in your back a little bit. There's the other set over there. Doesn't look great, but we'll see. Here comes Julie. This one's got a couple busted rungs, one up there and one here, but I think we can do it. There she is. Next, that rung is broken. That rung's broken, so stay on the switch feet up there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, it looks like we're almost down to another level. We're down probably, how many ladders, Julie? Eight? Yeah, at least. Ten? There's one more down here, and I'm pretty sure we got a level. All right, we're down the ladders. To the next level. Watch your step. The, uh, the skip track keeps going. Uh, yeah, as far as I can see. But for now, it looks like something goes that way. Oh, there's an old wooden barrel. I always like to see those. And Let's go this way. I want to see what this says here. And I'll be right there. That looks like a ore shoot of some sort. Well, here's here's when the mine was in in uh, operation during the Korean War. Fifty five buck. Twelve. Something, 55. Let's take this right here first. Right hand rule. This level probably doesn't get as many visitors as the top one. Oh boy. That goes way up. A lot of rotten stuff here. This must have had some water at some point. Rotten to it. There was track in here. Not anymore. Big shoot. That's probably that left that we mm -hmm. skipped. Looks like it. Here's a big shoot. Natural round timbers. Not milled. Maybe spun on a lathe or something to get the bark on, off them or a debarker so they don't rot as quickly. Get a little left. There's the tungsten blue, the shelite. Mm. 
double shoot. Piece of water pipe. Small cross cut to the right. More tungsten blue color. Uh, an anchor sticking out of the ground for something. Okay, let's go this way. There's some fuse cord. And is that part of a stick of dynamite? I can't read it. I love Julie handle it. Oh, she's turning around. This is the face. What's the paper say? Um, is it rubber or what is it? It's paper. There's a beautiful example of the older drill steels. This, they're square. Newer ones are not square. And the newer ones have the knockoff tips where you can just change the tip quickly. This one's still sharp even. Nice piece of drill bit. Uh, also here is a, it looks like what was a trouble light. It's kind of smashed, but a, the bulb protector. And this also looks like a, a bulb protector for an overhead fixture. We're back to the ladders here. Um, Julie's looking at some newspaper. Do you see a date on it? The real small print leads me to believe it's old because the, the old papers have that really small print like that. Or I don't know how you can even read it. Here's this little barrel. Love seeing a wood barrel. Don't know exactly what that is. Here's a nice Prince Albert can. Oh, look at the beautiful, oh boy. beautiful can. A little smashed. Uh, parts of a bo dynamite box. The Prince Albert label. And look at here, lunchbox. No lunch for me today. Cool. Parts of the powder boxes. There's a giant. Uh, there's a Hercules. A lot of powder paper. It came wrapped in the, the paper. All right, let's see what's over this way. Please. Where is it? Philip Morris. Made Call in, for Philip Morris. Made in USA. Wow. That's probably pretty old. Isn't it? Let's go this way a little bit. What is it? Carbide insert rock bits and then the instructions on how to use it. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen a bit box. Speaking of bits, there's the no more modern uh, one, two, three, four, five, six sided bit. That's it. It's from Baker and Hamilton in San Francisco, California. What's Shipped the, to commercial Reno. What's the box there? Was it nails? Yeah, it's some nails. It's 
from Seattle, Washington. It looks like something to do with electric because the, the yeah. Okay, Julie's going across the bridge. Looks a little sketchy. Yeah. Huh? That's an old man. Yeah, a little wobbly. <laughs> There's a ladder going down there, except it ends. You wouldn't want to take that ladder because it ends after the first section and it goes down quite a ways after that. Here's a grizzly. Hmm? It goes way down. Oh boy, does it ever. Air coming out of there. So that's a grizzly, that's an ore drop. They would have brought stuff along here and dumped it through the, the bars there. Whatever doesn't drop gets whacked with a hammer or a drill. There's another drill bit. Now that one is dull, dull and broken. That needs to be sent to the sharpener or the replacer. Here's a muck sheet. Usually when you see the muck sheets, you're getting close to the working face. Another shoot. Oh, look at the old pail, or the old... Oh, yeah, that's an old uh, water. Huh? Like a teapot. Let's see the bottom of it. Is it rusted out? Oh, it's not even really rusted. Oh, it is a little bit. Yeah, the bottom's coming off. But that is cool. Yeah. Let's... Uh, Hold on. I wondered where you were. Here you are. I'm you taking a break. <laughs> you found a chair. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Well, I'll go on without you then if you're going to sit there. <laughs> Another shoot. Surprise, surprise. As Gomer and Pyle would say, surprise! There's a little can of something there. Probably doesn't have any writing on it that's legible. The size of the drill bits, I think they were an inch and a quarter, or were they bigger than that? It's a pretty good size level. Wow. That's looking up this above this big chute here. It's pretty cool mine, isn't it? Oh look at there, well it must have been a or is that just hanging there? I thought maybe there was some kind of switch on this thing or something, but it's just a piece of electrical faceplate that's just hanging there. People who have been in this mine have done a nice job of not taking everything out of it and kind of setting aside the artifacts so they can be viewed by others like us. Looks like we might be coming up to the end or a big collapse, one or the other. That's a big collapse. That's where this has gotten wet. There was there was water in here at some point, and this looks like it would have gone further because of the way these pipes are in here. But either all this wood it must have gotten wet and collapsed because you can see it's all rotten. And so this was some sort of a a uh, sh uh, shaft of some sort that was lined with timbers and it's collapsed. And now it's plugged the uh, Plug the attic because these pipes would have gone through. So this used to go through. Not anymore. Here we are back to the grizzly. Working our way back towards the the main wind shaft, I guess it would be. With the big skip rails and the ladders, the manways that we became down. 
That should be just ahead of us here. Back to the little barrel. I know. That's not even a full piece of wood broken. So don't put all your weight on there. Okay. We're gonna go down another level, see if we can find another level.